Here we have an RLC circuit, resistive, inductive, and capacitive. We have a resistor, a motor, and a capacitor all hooked in series. I know this looks like a little more complicated circuit than a standard series circuit, and I guess it is because we have a switch in parallel with the motor so that I can take the motor out of the circuit and a switch in parallel with a capacitor so I can take the capacitor out of the circuit. Additionally, I have an oscilloscope and channel one of the oscilloscope is checking the voltage coming in and channel two of the oscilloscope is checking the voltage across the resistor. Now an interesting thing about resistive loads is that the current and the voltage always stay in phase. So if we look at our little meter here, you see the power factor on the bottom right corner is one. And you can see on the oscilloscope that the voltage across the resistor and the voltage coming into the circuit are exactly in phase. And <clears throat> we're going to use the oscilloscope and our little meter to see how inductance and capacitance affect the phase of the voltage and the current. Keeping in mind that the current will always be in phase with the voltage across the resistor. That's why we're measuring the voltage across the resistor. Okay, now let's bring in the motor. So I'm going to turn this switch off. The motor will come on. And then let's see what effect that had here. So you can see the voltage across the resistor shown in dark blue lags the voltage going into the circuit and you can see that the power factor now has dropped to 0.85 now i'm going to turn this switch back on and go back to resistor circuit and then i'm going to turn the switch across the capacitor off bringing the capacitor into the circuit. Now you can see that the voltage across the resistor, remembering that represents our current, leads the voltage going into the circuit. And you can see our power factor with the capacitor and the resistor is pretty low, 0.32. All right, now let's go back to the resistor circuit. I'll turn this on. Bring our motor in, and now I'm going to add the capacitor into the circuit, so we'll have both inductance and capacitance in our circuit. Notice that now our current is in phase with our voltage, and the power factor has gone back to 1. You can also hear the motor's running a little better. I hope this gives you some idea of why capacitors are in motor circuits and how capacitance offsets inductance. Also, how inductance affects current and, and voltage and their, <clears throat> their phasing, but also how capacitors affect current and voltage and their phasing. Hi. This is Carter Stanfield, co-author of Fundamentals of HVACR. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. If you did, please consider buying my book. You can find it online at Fundamentals of HVACR, 4th edition, published by Pearson. Authors Carter Stanfield and David Skase.